Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the box method to divide a decimal number. Our division problem is 56 and 2 tenths divided by 4. So first I'm going to make a box. I want to make it three rows high and long enough to fit my number with a little bit of extra space. I have a three digit number, so I need to make three sections in my box. And I put each digit in its own box. Now this has a decimal point, so I need to put the decimal point in that box right at the edge of that line. And I'm dividing by four, so that goes outside the box. The very first thing I'm going to do when I'm dividing a decimal is bring that decimal point up into my answer. And then I start dividing. I'm still going to follow the same steps of long division, except instead of bringing down a number, I'm going to bring a number up. So the first step is to divide. Four goes into five one time. My next step is to multiply. One times four is four. Next step is to subtract. Five minus four is one. Now here's where it's different. Instead of bringing down the six, I'm going to bring the one up into the next box. So it's going to go here. I now have 16. So four will go into 16 four times. Four times four is 16. I subtract and have zero left over. I'm going to bring that zero over and up. I now have two. Two is smaller than four. That means four will not go into two. I need to put a zero above that box. When I multiply zero times four, I get zero. I subtract and I still have two. Now, since we're dividing a decimal, we cannot just bring it up and say it's going to be remainder two. We're going to annex a zero onto the end of our number. So I'm going to expand my box and annex that zero. And then I'm going to bring that two up into that box. Now I can divide. Four goes into 25 times. Five times four is 20. And when I subtract, I have zero left over. And that's what I'm looking for. When I'm all done, I have to have a remainder of zero. So my answer is 14 and five hundredths.